Hey guys, hello everyone and welcome to the channel. So certainly there are few questions this year in CSIR net uh, December 2024 exam in the provisional answer key which needs to be challenged and a lot of you were asking me that how we can challenge it, what's the process of that. So I thought of making a detailed video. So in this video, I'm going to explain you in detail the entire process of uh, how you can challenge a particular question and I have also made a template. I will share it with you. So that you can also download that so uh, the template will be like uh, that will give you an option where you can just copy paste your uh, references you can copy paste your solution whatever you have based upon the particular question okay and um, yeah so if you think that is useful you can use that so, so let's talk about it so if you see this is the website csrnta.ac.in this website link i will give you in the description of this video there are two links okay if you see over here one is uh, click here to answer key challenge and the one is is to click here to login okay i would suggest you to click on this uh, if you want to challenge answer key so click on this click here to answer key challenge and it will ask you to login okay now i would like to thank sigma santosh for providing uh, her uh, application number thank you so much for that sake only i'm able to make this video so yeah thank you so much for that so i will quickly uh, like uh, login and i will show you how the portal looks and uh, what are the different sections of it and what you can do okay so once you log in this is how uh, you are going to see the login screen and here is the link all your basic information is there uh, but here is the link to challenge answer key okay so click on this particular link answer key challenge okay so if you click on this yeah so now is the portal open for you so that you can challenge answer key okay i will just uh, scroll down a little bit yeah also if you want to see the answer sheet you can click here okay you will be able to see the answer sheet from here but uh, let me show you a little bit more about it so you can see here are your question list uh, question id is given the correct option which is according to the answer key according to the provisional answer key that is mentioned over here and uh, then uh, claimed answer key uh, list upload document okay this is the place where you are going to upload the a document which is required it says that in case the candidate want to submit document in support of challenge of the answer key they should upload the pdf with maximum size of 1 mb so make sure that when you are making pdf just make it uh, of a file of 1 mb not more than that you have to fill the captcha and then you have to proceed for review claims where uh, you have to make payment and that's how the process will go okay i will just show you uh, based upon one of the questions so there is one question um, which is based upon the coordination number if you remember that was asked for two marker question in part b that is certainly incorrect um, we have discussed that question let me quickly show that this was the question which i have already discussed in my uh, like in my previous video so the answer key says that option one is correct okay the question id is seven zero double one five eight and uh, the answer key says that option one is correct but the correct answer should be option number two okay or option b so you have to scroll down uh, 701158 is the question number which we are looking for uh, double uh, 701158 yeah so here you go 701158 the correct answer is one but we want this answer to be two so click on this two so that means you are claiming that the answer two is correct okay and then you can click here to browse and you can select your uh, like upload the document okay now I'm going to show you the template which uh, I'm, I will attach in the description of this video. You can download the template from there. So that's a word file so that you can edit yourself. So let me quickly show you that. Okay, so this is the template which I have made. I have divided it into three or four parts. The first part will be uh, giving uh, the, the one who is going to review it, the review committee, uh, the information about the question and what answer you are claiming. Of course, that will be provided from the portal itself, but just for the sake of making things concise. The second uh, part is going to have uh, the step-by-step -step solution or the explanation. And the third part is uh, basically references and the fourth part is conclusion. Okay, So you can see here, it says that uh, the heading is challenged to provisional answer key CSR December 2024 exam. That's what we are going to do. And uh, question details are here, question ID you have to provide. Uh, provisional answer key what answer is given in the provisional answer key and correct answer as per the detailed solution i mean what you are claiming okay this, that option you have to give over here 
then it's just written it's it's up to you if you want to keep it or not it's up to you it says respected sir ma'am uh, i am submitting a challenge regarding the provisional answer key for question id provide question id over here the answer provided in the provisional answer key is option whatever option 1 2 3 4 whatever it is for that question but based on correct theoretical approach the correct answer should be option whatever option is according to you okay so write down that option and below is a step by step explanation proving why the correct answer should be the answer which we are saying okay why the correct answer should be our claimed answer and here is the step by step solution now it depends upon different type of question uh, you can have either formula or theory used depending upon if it is a physical chemistry question you might have some formula used if it is an inorganic chemistry or organic chemistry question there will be some theory used to provide that okay these are any three things you have to provide or basically you can fill any one of these you can skip or put depending upon the type of question which you are claiming okay so formula or theory used you can mention what is being used step by step calculation if it's a physical chemistry question it's always encouraged to provide a step by step solution in case if you are not able to uh, write that down in um, uh, like in the word if you are not able to um, if you don't have habit of making equations or writing equations in ms word i would recommend you to just write it on a paper and paste it over here okay you can just insert as a picture so you go to insert and insert as a picture over here okay that that is the option in ms word you can you know, i think you already know that okay so you can do do that and supporting reference so you can either uh, put the screenshot of the uh, of the reference or it's always recommended to provide the book name okay whatever reference book you are referring to what is the author name what is the edition and the page number okay this should be the format book name author edition and page number if you are providing some online link in that case just try to provide a relevant link over here and try to provide the screenshot in this page itself if you have a screenshot you can provide that okay and because you don't want the reviewer to go and open the book okay so just provide the screenshot because and also mention edition because in different edition of a book the page numbers might vary okay so please provide the edition of the book as well from where you are taking the reference and last is conclusion and request for review so given the above explanation i kindly request to do, kindly request the concerned authority to review the answer key for question id and update the final answer key accordingly so this is our basic format you can use it and whatever section if you are not just as i mentioned over here if you think that the explanation is requires to like uh, making equations or if it is an or uh, if it is organic chemistry question you have to draw the for uh, figures right so just draw it on a paper take a photo and paste it over here okay instead of uh, using chem draw and doing that okay that will be too much so this is what you can use and then you can uh, get back to the website you can click over here and yeah of course when you are done with this word uh, document uh, like save is as a as a pdf document okay and uh, you can either uh, use when you are saving it you can compress that as well just to save some space because you you don't want to exceed more than one mb right and then you can click on this browse over here and provide and just select the pdf file proceed for review claims and then you have to make a payment of 200 rupees for one question if you have selected two three questions so the amount which you have to pay will depend upon that part okay that how many questions we have selected okay so i hope this is clear to you how the process is going to be and uh, uh, yeah this is all about this particular video do let me know if you have any particular question or any particular doubt uh, so i'll try to answer you in the comment section below so that's it from my side for this particular video guys i will see you guys in the next video take care bye bye